Giovan Lorenzo Bernini, better known as Gian Lorenzo Bernini, was born in Naples on December 7, 1598. He was a sculptor, an architect, a painter, a set designer and an Italian playwright. In his artistic production, a particular sector is represented by portraits to which he dedicates throughout the course of his career. In his various portraiture works, it is possible to admire not only his pictorial and sculptural ability, but also his sensitivity of psychological analysis of the represented subjects. From this, it is possible to see the various methods used by Bernini such as attending his characters to observe them at different times of the day, make various sketches and drawing, until he gets a summary of all the impressions collected, and then he can transmit them in the work. His career began around the age of 14 with one of his first works, a portrait of Antonio Coppola, a Florentine surgeon, to this bony image with his dark face and heavy eyes, Gian Lorenzo infuses something that makes him very realistic. Between 1621 and 1622, he made a portrait of Pedro Fua de Montoya. This work is of a surprising realism. The hollow of the cheeks, the wrinkles of the forehead, the dropping eyes and the regrowth of the birth are all details that Bernini studies with an exceptional precision to make this portrait as natural as possible. Observing the work of Pope Urban VIII, made in 1632, it is immediately perceptible the extraordinary ability of Bernini in representing the subject with particular details. What in fact is more evident are the lips that seems about to open up, the unshaven bird in the cheeks, and especially the arises of the eyes etched with the drill. In this way, obtaining particular effects from the marble, it was able to confer great naturalness on the work to make the observer seem to be in the presence of the Pope. One of his most famous works of all time is the bust of Cardinal Scipione Borghese. The work was made in 1632 by commission of the same subject. After the commission of the work, they discover a big scar on the forehead of the subject, so at this point Bernini realized immediately in another one, which today is exhibited at the Galleria Borghese. The cardinal is represented with a typical cardinal's garment and the proud position in which he is shown excelled his level of importance within the Church of Rome. The bust of Francesco I d'Este is a marble portrait bust. The noble yet portrayed with the expression of the face, the extensive drapery and the lavish locks of the hair are often taken to be emblematic of the way Bernini represented absolute monarchs as seemingly adopting superior poses. The artist didn't personally meet his model and he was forced to complete the work based on portrait paintings sent to him from Modena. Therefore, he concentrated on the construction of the bust representing the duke in the act of turning to the right and highlighting secondary elements such as the wig, the ruff and the cloth. In 1638, Bernini realized the bust of Thomas Baker. The work was bought by the same Victorian Albert Museum in London since 1921 and is currently preserved inside the same prestigious institution. The work was probably made largely by Bernini himself, but later was refined by one of his pupils called Andrea Bolgi. Special attention is given to the details of the subject. We can just look at the air, where each head talk is faithfully produced as the real ones. It also happened in other Bernini statues. Even in this one, the subject is portrayed on the sculpture with an arm that comes out of the cloak, allowing the play of drapery on the rest of the clothing. Between 1636 and 1638, Bernini realized the bust of Costanza Bonarelli as a private work that is in all probability for himself and not for a client. He portrays the woman as she would have appeared in the day-to-day -day intimacy with her unkempt hair and the shirt open on her breast. Her eyes are proud and slightly surprised and her fresh lips are just parted. The neck is sturdy, the hair is slightly disarranged 
thrown back to give light to the forehead. The dress has a simple ribbon that follows the open neckline. The surfaces are pleasantly smooth, especially on the face and the neck, maintaining this pleasantness even on the curl hair and on the folds of the garment. From 1598 to 1680, he realized the bust of Pope Clement X of Thierry, represented with his head turned slightly to the right. On the forehead, he has deep wrinkles of expression, and the moustache, but also all the details, are modeled in a very precise way. It is in fact one of the most famous talking portraits of Gian Lorenzo Bernini. <laughs>